Hello guys, in the last video I have shown you how to load your MySQL table data in a data grid view in Visual Basic Windows Form application. So as soon as your form loads, your data which is there in the table, which is this table in the MySQL database is loaded in this data grid view control. Now in this video I want to show you suppose you want to show all the data when you select any cell in the in the data grid view you want to show the corresponding value in these text boxes how can you achieve this I want to show you in this uh, video so for example I select a cell so the corresponding data from the cell which is employee ID 1 surname and age should appear in this text boxes okay so this I want to show you so I selected the cell for uh, the employee ID 2 so employee ID 2 uh, credential comes here right so in the same way I want to show all the when you select any cell the corresponding value should come here so how can we achieve it let's see so what you need to do first is you just select your data grid view so if you know don't know how to load the data grid view from the database just watch the last video so just select your data grid view and double click it and in here you need to write this code so what this code is doing first of all I have uh, written or I have declared a if condition so just write if e so where this e comes from this e is a variable which is this e by well e as system.windows.form.data.gridview cell event arg right so this e is this variable e so just write if e dot row index is greater than or equal to zero then and just finish your and if condition so just write this if condition and in this if condition just declare a variable so I have declared a variable row as data grid view row so this is an instance of data grid view row and just copy this uh, row here is equal to me dot data grid view name so this is the name of your data grid view which is data grid view one in my case dot rows and in the bracket just write e dot row index okay and then what I'm doing next is I'm copying the name of my text boxes in which I want to show the values so this e text box underscore e dot eid is the name of this text box text box underscore eid and text box uh, underscore name is the name of my second text box name right so in this way I'm copying all the text box names dot text is equal to row dot cells and in the bracket I'm writing the title of my column I will show you in a moment what this is dot value dot to string so just write these this line and in the same way just write this these lines for the other text boxes now what is this EID this EID is the title of your column so EID for the title of my first column see here name is the title of my second column surname is the title of my third column which is this and age is the title of my fourth column which is this one right so this is uh, that text or title of the column so just write this for all the text boxes and your code is done just write this code and when you run the program and once again when you click somewhere some cell the values will appear here corresponding values to the cell right so in this way you can show corresponding values to the data grid view in your text boxes I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe.